Oh boy. Oh, come on now. This isn't what we want. This has got to be stopped. And there's the result of that is Exum has to get carried off the floor. Really quick, before I begin, if you guys can smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, this seriously makes a huge difference to my videos and lets YouTube know to recommend this video to a brand new audience. So thank you so much for doing that and let's begin. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sports360. Former NBA fifth pick and Olympic medalist Dante Exum is in doubt for the remaining EuroLeague campaign and the upcoming FIBA Basketball World Cup with the Australian Boomers after being body slammed in a violent brawl during his EuroLeague playoff game. The incident occurred when Exum's team, Partizan Belgrade, led Real Madrid by 15 points with less than two minutes left. Exum was on the verge of steering his side to a victory with a game-high 19 points. However, when the Madrid captain gave away a hard foul on Partizan's Kevin Punter, it ignited a fight which involved players, staff, and even security guards. Exum stepped in to defend his teammate but was violently driven into the court by former Boston Celtic Yabasele, leaving Exum with a bloodied mouth, broken toe, and a ruptured tendon. The Partisan's doctor told reporters, the way he threw him with a judo move, that's for prison, for a life suspension. Exum could have broken his spine, seriously injured his head, and ended his career. This was terrible. I've never seen this in my life. Exum's injury could be a huge setback for club and country as a 27-year-old has played a key part in Partizan's EuroLeague playoff run, and Exum has found himself to be a key member of coach Brian Gorgian's Boomer squad. The incident forced the game to be cancelled, with the result awarded to Partizan, now 2-0 up in the best of five series. The ugly incident is expected to draw fines and suspensions, and has left tensions running high ahead of Game 3 in Serbia. Alright guys, let me know your thoughts on this incident. How long should the suspension be? You cannot body slam someone into the court like that. Minimum, he should be suspended for the rest of the series, as Dante will struggle to be back this season, let alone play for the Boomers in the World Cup. Let me know your thoughts, leave your comments down below. I really hope Dante can get back quickly for club and also for the Boomers. All right guys, that wraps it up for today's video. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, that really helps this video out. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.